Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory. Sadly today, another day when we are not saying another day, another level. However, that's absolutely acceptable because you can't go any higher right now. Level 32 is still the highest in the world, so for another day, your boy can say that we are the highest you can be in the world. Obviously, our XP is not the highest it can be. Today, you can be 25 XP away from Shane Battier. 25 XP. 2k have done people dirty. I think they knew that people would be that close. So, uh, yeah, that's quite funny. But anyway, today we are going to be talking about that Shane Battier. We're going to have a look at his stats, talk about his badges, and see if we might pick up a few to uh, make sure we can badge him out when we get him, or is it even worth spending MT on him? We'll have a little look at his card. We've also got a locker code pack from yesterday to open up, which came through from Carlos Story quite late. Uh, so we've got one pack to open up today, which hopefully is going to be good. And also you can see we are down to 14,000 MT again. Our MT has been fluctuating so damn much, but we have made some really, really good progress on XP challenges. We started the day 5,500 XP away, I think. So today we've made 2.2k, um, and we'll, by tomorrow, have made even more. So tomorrow, we might hit level 33. We'll have to wait and see. So before we jump into it, guys, if you guys are new to the stream, new to the stream, new to the channel, I've just finished streaming, can you tell? If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, daily stream, daily videos, and of course, a massive thank you to the goats of the channel, Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Andrew, Josh, Hammer, and Milfshake. Thank you guys so much for your support. All right, so our daily challenges today were nice and easy. A badge, five layups with a 2020 NBA player, and a point guard to get three assists. Really damn straightforward. Uh, Shumpert is now 24 out of 35 layups done, so we're getting good progress on that. You can see we come down here, Bam Adebayo has been completed. So, yep, we bought Diamond Bam Adebayo a block, 20 rebounds and 40 dunks, and we did all of these in Spotlight Triple Threat games. So, didn't go into a single full game with him, just Spotlight Triple Threat games. And, uh, yeah, really, really good card, actually. Really impressed with him. Really agile, really nice and fast, very athletic, really nice dunk packages. Bam Adebayo, very, very impressed. And of course, you can see in here, there is no flash set, which of course means that we also bought today the diamond glitched Rudy Gobert, and we got him done. So two blocks in a single game, 20 dunks in triple that offline, and 33s over multiple games. So we did go into a game of a spotlight that was a full five-minute quarter game. Uh, we got 26 threes in one game with him, which was all we needed because we already had four. So I got him done. Uh, 20 dunks to triple that offline didn't take too long. I think that took me three games uh, and two blocks. He got two blocks in one of those games, which isn't really a surprise. Did I enjoy him more than Bam? Not even close, bro. Give me Bam out of bio over that Go Bear card. He just felt really slow, really sluggish. And um, yeah, Bam out of bio just seemed head and shoulders better in my opinion. But anyway, that leaves us with... Walter Davis to go ahead and buy, but as we'll see in a little bit, his price is kind of extortionate right now. Uh, Shane Battier, obviously we can't get him, but when we do, that is 2,500 XP, which is really damn nice. We'll have to get two steals in a game, easy, 75, 75 points in triple the offline, which is four games, easy, um, and then 43s we'll get at the same time as that. So... Very nice and easy XP there. That's going to be fantastic. We've got 600 XP to come from Shump. We are on the final two challenges of the spotlights. That's right. So we are finally getting to the end of that one. And then, of course, we didn't get Mopey. So we can't actually get him just yet. So I've just done the maths on all of those things. And if we did have Mo Peterson, we would actually be able to have Shane Battier today. But I'm kind of glad we don't have Mo Peterson because then that would kind of make me feel like a bit of an idiot because I'd be the only one in the world with him. And that is obviously because 2K messed up at the start of the season by resetting one of my challenges. So I don't feel like that's fair. Nobody should have him today. So I'm fine with where we're at. We can't get this XP until at least next weekend when Mo Peterson comes back onto the triple, not triple, the limited boards. In terms of triple threat online, we are coming up to 350 wins. We're actually not doing too bad. 250 away from Pink Diamond Michael Finley. Really, really good progress. And as I mentioned, we are just two challenges away. So we completed a five-minute quarter game, nine rebounds, and we did a 55-point triple threat game, getting 10 threes. And then we did a 63-point triple threat game, getting two team blocks and getting the dub. And then next up, we just got to get a double-double with any player, five-minute quarters, um, and we'll have both of these done by tomorrow, like I said. We come over to the pack market, and we have just got one pack to open up, like I said. This is from Carlos's locker code. So ping down Walter Davis, please. Oh, God. 
What is our luck, man? Bronze fast break finisher. Things you don't love to see. Uh, right, auction outcomes. A couple of shoes, which I'll talk about in a second. And then Rudy Gobert. I bought him for 78k, so he didn't even lose any tax on Gobert, which is amazing. And then Bam Adebayo, I bought for 90, trying to sell him for 95 or 96. Maybe a bit ambitious, but I do hope he sells for that amount. And as for Giannis, 200k, bro. For a pink diamond Giannis, what even is the market right now? I don't want to sell him for that. Not a chance. I'm going to wait until he comes up to 250k, which hopefully he does soon. And then I'll go and get him sold. Uh, because this guy right here, early when he was selling for 200k, now he's down at 140. The price is, is just fluctuating so much. It is hard to keep track. Uh, it's hard to get a good price. I seem like I always am getting screwed on the auction house whenever I touch anything. Um, but tomorrow we'll try and get a Walter Davis for around 110, 120. If I get him for that price, I feel like we'll be pretty safe because Devin Booker is still at 120k and he's been out for quite some time. Same situation with Jason Richardson. And of course, after we've done that, then we are all done with buying players and we don't have to buy any more, which is fantastic. So we come down here and you guys can see I don't have any shoes left. I don't have any shoes left. I have gone through today, discarded them all, and let me tell you guys, I made about 60 to 70k, I'm going to say, uh, on discarding all shoes. Now, the only ones I didn't discard straight away uh, were gold three-point shoes. You can see right here, I've got a few that haven't sold us yet. Gold three-point shoes, sold them all for between 700 and 1,000 MT. For a gold three-point shoe, just for a six-game boost? Okay. Um, other than that, discarded everything else. Got me a hell of a lot of MT. Also discarded all my injury cards because I uh, needed to get rid of those. So yeah, that was a lot of MT that was just sitting in the club. I need the MT now. We've got 95k with the Arnis to sell, with Bam to sell. Um, and there we go. There's a shoe selling for 700. Lovely stuff. So we're still sitting around 400k if everything sells. So MT is definitely coming down because we don't actually have anybody else that is ours that we can sell. So... Amari's not ours, that Giannis isn't, Luka Doncic isn't, um, Diamond cards. We do have a few that we can sell if we really get desperate. You know, Tony Parker, DeMar DeRozan, and Derek Coleman all coming out of that uh, token market pack. But they're original owner diamonds, so I really don't want to sell them. So that's kind of where we're at right now. A um, little bit in struggle town in terms of MT, but Walter Davis is the only card we need to buy, so it's not too bad. So let's talk about this Shane Battier card, which we could potentially get tomorrow depending on what 2k drop there will be a new set tomorrow guys uh if we come over to oh maybe there won't be hmm wonder what we're gonna get tomorrow so these packs end on wednesday and then the flash four ends on friday hmm that's curious so maybe we won't get new packs tomorrow maybe we just get a new set of challenges or something or maybe we get super packs my goodness i hope it's not super packs um we won't be able to get Shane Battier tomorrow if it is super packs. But anyway, let's talk about this card. So, he comes in with 17 gold and 6 Hall of Fame badges off a rip. Uh, 4 defensive Hall of Fame badges and 6, no wait, and 2 shooting badges. Um, in terms of his defensive badges, you cannot add any to him. So you don't need to worry about that. You don't need to prepare for that. You can't add anything to him. He already comes with Intimidator and Clamps as standard. So, the best ones you can get. Playmaking badges, you can can add post spin and dream shape but you're not really going to want to do that let's be real uh shooting badges he can hold dead eye uh, deep fades difficult shots and range so obviously out of those two dead eye and range extender will be the ones that you ideally want to put on him but i'm going to tell you right now guys it's not worth it that is not worth spending and i'll show you guys how much it is it's just an insane amount way too much even dead eye uh, uh to be fair bronze ain't too bad Bronze ain't too bad. So 4k for the bronze. 5k-ish for the silver. But then a lot for the gold. So you're looking at about 25k to get him from no dead eye up to gold. And then if you want range, then it's just a GG, isn't it? If you want range, then it's just like GG. 60k, hand it over. More than 60k, hand it over. No. No. Too much. Way, way, way too much. So, not worth it on a card. Yeah, he's a nice card, but is he worth that much MT going into him? No. So, I'm going to say we've still got five badge slots to put on him. Uh, and that is where the finishing badges are going to come into play. So, he can hold 
pretty much every finishing badge. He can hold every finishing badge, so it's just about picking and choosing which one you think is going to be best for this card. So Acrobat, I think, is a good shout. Um, of course, boost abilities make layups have a high degree of difficulty. That's always good to have. Never going to be a bad thing to have that badge. Uh, and really damn cheap. You're looking at about 5k to get him from nothing up to gold. Great stuff. I may do that. Probably not, but you never know. I may do. Uh, Relentless Finisher, another one that he doesn't have. Um, and again, releases the fatigue effects from continually finishing the rim with contact. Again, another really nice badge. Ain't no way. I was going to say, ain't no way this badge is 10k now. 4k, that's more like it. Uh, 2k, and then that 1k. So you're looking at about 7.5k to get a Relentless Finisher from nothing up to gold. And again, that's not too steep, not too expensive. Um... He can hold put back boss, but I don't really think that's necessary. Lob City Finisher, if you think you're going to be running a lot of alley -oop plays with him, then you could definitely go ahead and chuck that on him. Um, I probably wouldn't. Um, where is the next badge I'm looking for? Fast Break Finisher can have. Not really too keen on that. Showtime. Now, this is a great badge. Of course, boosts the team's takeover meter after completing a highlight play. Always a good thing to have. Uh, you're looking at about 2k for the bronze. You're looking at about 4k. I'm going to say about 3k for the silver. And about like 1k. So about 7,000 MT to get no showtime up to gold. And that is a really, really good badge. So I'll probably put that badge on him. I'm not going to lie. Slithery finisher. Another one that he... Oh no, he's already got slithery. Which is good. He's already got that one. Downhill. He cannot hold. So that's a playmaking badge. And then... Any others? I wish they were. I wish these were in categories, guys. I really do. Okay. Well, somewhere along the line, I've missed Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer is not a bad one to put on him. He is six foot eight with a six ten wingspan, so he's not tiny. But if you're going into the paint and there's a big center down there, Giant Slayer is going to help you out. And again, I don't think this badge is expensive at all. Like, yeah, fifteen hundred for the bronze badge. 2,000 for the silver badge, probably. And then, yeah, you're looking at about 5k to get Giant Slayer from nothing up to gold. That's really nice. So, I would say if you're going to add 5 badges to him, I'd make them all finishing badges. And I would say choose between Acrobat, Contact Finisher, Fast Break Finisher, Giant Slayer, Lob City Finisher, and Relentless Finisher and Showtime, depending on your playstyle. If you do that, you're going to be fine. In terms of his stats, he's got an 85 speed and acceleration. Uh, here he is. 85 speed and acceleration. He's got 84 mid, 88 3, 85 driving up, 80 driving dunk, 80 interior ready, 93 perimeter D, and 81 speed of ball. So it is actually a really solid card. It can have any shoe as well, which is nice. So again, I'm going to say it. My Puma shoe's down here, man. I've got 16 of these bad boys. I've got four of these. Again, you're going to be able to make him even better defensively. So his block is going to go from 74 to 77. Interior defense is going to go up from 80 to 83. Three-point shot is going to go from 88 to 91. And steel is going to go from 88 to 91 as well. Very nice. Or you could go for this one right here. Uh, ball control or ball handling would go up to 85. Three-point again up to 91. Speed of ball up to 84. And then vertical from 78 to 81. Not bad. So three-point shoes again are going to come in clutch with this card. Um, it's only like 5k, so I may even put one of those on him myself. And then it's going to be a 9,000 XP grind from level 33 to level 4, 34. So this is where things really start slowing down, guys. This is where things really, really start slowing down. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to enjoy it. So tomorrow, you should see this section with this done, these done, this done. And the only things we should have here are going to be the Shane Battier stuff and Mo Peters and stuff. It's the only thing that should be by tomorrow. So fingers crossed that is going to be the case. Bam, Adebayo still hasn't sold, so I will relist him up and just hope that he sells at some point. So that will put us close to 200k, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep on monitoring Giannis's price and hope that he goes up to 200k, because I need that MT, bro, or 250k. I need that MT, bro, because this card is just wild in terms of its price mental that is going to do it from me today guys hope you have enjoyed hopefully tomorrow it'll be another day another level and diamond shane Valley 8 will be coming to me so i will see you guys next time hope you have enjoyed as usual please like subscribe and i'll see you next time